Um, I'm going to show you in this video how to make an accelerometer. Um, a finished accelerometer looks a little bit like this, right? And the notion with this thing is that it's going to measure the g-force. It's hard to show tipping up on end there, right? But it's going to show the g-force because this little pipe fitting is going to sag down from where it is at, at uh, zero gravity like this. And you can just point this in the direction that you feel g-force and you can measure it but you're going to be measuring it in G's, okay? Um, the first thing to do is to take this thing, and this, uh, I believe, is a three-quarter inch uh, uh, steel, and it's called a steel nipple, which, of course, uh, that's sort of a giggle word for high school students, but, but anyway. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line around it. That's the first thing to do. And I do that by just wrapping a little bit of paper around it like that getting it about in the middle. I'm going to mark it like this. And that's really the best way to mark a piece of pipe. I'm not too worried that it's not exactly in the middle of the pipe fitting because all of this stuff is pretty relative. Okay? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of paper and I've found that because what I want to do is I want to get this elastic tied inside there. I find that about a third of the paper is about right. And then I just sort of fold it like this. And that make kind of a thin waisted thing like that. And then I tie this elastic right around the middle of it. More or less in the middle. Okay. Kind of like that. I'm going to pull that pretty tight. And then I'm going to take it. And I'm going to wad it up, and I'm going to stuff that thing right into my nipple. And this is going to attach the elastic band to the inside of my nipple, like that. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of tighten this thing on there, like this. I'm taking this and I'm doing this with it. I'm just pressing in. You don't need a pliers to do this, but I just happen to have a pliers. And then I'm going to pull the, the, the elastic tight. I'm not going to break it. And then let's shake it a little bit. I'm shaking it vigorously side to side to make sure it doesn't come loose. Okay. And now I want to stick it in the pipe and attach it. So I'm going to take a little bit of... Uh, paper clip like this. I'm going to bend it in the middle to make a V like that. And I've discovered I actually don't need that much length. I'm going to trim a little bit off the ends. I don't have to, but you know, there it is, right? And then here's this pipe. If I hold it right there and I bend the sides down like that, I've made a little thing that's going to hold that elastic in the middle, that's kind of what I'm shooting for. And now I'm just going to take a bit of electrical tape and I'm gonna, where's the end of it? There it is. Okay. I'm going to take the end of it and just tape this guy in there. Don't put them both in or, well anyway, there it is. At this point I'm not, I'm not terribly nuclear about that, right? I've just got that. I'm going to take this guy Stick it in the other end. Should check to make sure the pipe fitting slides through the pipe. It should slide freely like that. And then I'm going to put it over the end like that. And I'm going to tape it. More electrical tape. I'm going to pull it pretty tight across there. And the last wrap, I'm going to be casual about it and just do that, right? Now it's kind of IQ on the line. It's like, grab that, right? Okay, so let's make the other end. I'm going to straighten this guy out. Just bend it like that. I'm pretty sure we don't need that much length. I'm going to trim this stuff off a little bit. And again, I'm going to stick it like that, kind of a thing, 
right? I'm just bending these guys down like that. Now it's like IQ on the lines. I gotta get that that little bit of elastic out of there. Yeah. Ah. Come on, baby. You're mine. All right. You're not mine. Come on. Oh, gotcha. All right. You can use a tool there, but you know. So now we're we're kind of about here. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna again tape this guy. I think it's good to have a little bit of elastic sticking out here because then you can kind of reef on it and adjust the position of the weight inside the tube. All right, and that's what that end looks like. And this end looks like that. Okay, the whole thing looks kind of like this. Okay, and now really all I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to sort of seal up the ends. Okay, so I'm going to take a little square of, this is gaffer's tape. You can use duct tape, but gaffer's tape is a little nicer. I'm just going to seal up the end just to sort of keep foreign material out of there, right? And then, um, let me just see if this is where I want it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to lose my chance to make uh, lasting adjustments to the elastic here. That's about right, you know, it's kind of in the middle-ish, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, take some gaffer's tape and there you go. I'm sort of covering up those, those uh, um, paper clip ends because those can get kind of sharp. There's a little bit of gaffer's tape. And then we need a little, you know, a little stylistic statement here. Let's get a little bit of this stuff. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Not too much stylism for me. There we go. All right, you could just add decoration on here. I mean, there's not much left on this roll. That's sad. Oh, well. But anyway, you could take strips of uh, colored tape and decorate the... Uh, yeah, like that. And then the final thing here to do is to actually put the, the, the reading on this thing. I'm going to center a piece of tape like this. Right. Before I calibrate it, I would actually stop at this point. It's so easy to calibrate, but I'll show you how to calibrate one of these things. Right? I would just leave it like this, and before I calibrate it, just, you know, do a little shaker weight commercial, right? Swing it both sides. Get that elastic loosened up so that it, you know, if it moves on you, it's going to move now before you calibrate it. And then to calibrate it, it's really pretty simple. I'm going to take a pencil. And I do it in pencil because you probably need to recalibrate this, you know, somewhat frequently. I don't know. Okay. But there, obviously, this is zero Gs, right? And then if I tip it up on end, it sags some distance down, okay? And I'm going to hold it vertical, and I'm marking how far it sags, like that. So again, there's zero. Here's how far it sagged when I tipped it up on end, and that's 1G, right? And then twice that distance out, you just kind of eyeball this. That's 2Gs, and thrice is 3Gs, yeah? Some kids, you know, go all the way out to the side, and they're like 14 Gs, right? Maybe they're not really looking at it, though, if it's 14. And then I'm, gonna, I'm not going to assume it's the same distance. I'm going to tip it up on the other end, and I'm marking this where it, where it goes, right? Again, there's 0. Here's 1 G in the other direction, and 2 Gs. Really, you can go to 3 Gs. If you want to be really thorough, go to 4, but, you know, 2 and then the way you use these is, is it you um, you basically point them in the direction of the G force. So if it's like the frog hopper, you're going to hold the thing vertically. If it's a scrambler, you'll hold it to the side. Um, and if it's a screaming eagle, boy, you could just point it in any direction and get some G force out of that thing. 
all right? Um, and then to improve this thing, I would actually try to find springs. I know I've seen wimpy little springs. This is elastic cord. This tubing we get from tap plastic, and I believe the tubing has a... Uh, This stuff has an inner diameter of holy vernier, right? That is seven eighths of an inch inner diameter. Outer diameter is one inch. So it's seven eighths of an inch, one inch. And then the the, the pipe fittings, the pipe fittings we use have an outer diameter of just shy of seven-eighths of an inch and an inner diameter of well an inner diameter of what is that that is uh, shy of a half an inch so that is three-eighths of an inch is that right no no it's just a more than a half inch right so this is uh, five-eighths is that right there's half yeah there we go five-eighths of an inch. So what size is that? When we buy them, they're probably... I thought they were three-quarters. Oh, you know what? The pipe gets narrower in there. I'll bet it's three-quarters. I'll bet it's like this, really inside there. Yeah. There's the, there's the outside measure. There's the inside measure. I'll put it on the website what the actual materials are, what we actually get. Anyway, there you go.